Yo guys, welcome back to another episode of Doki Doki. Still don't know why I'm playing this game, just to be honest. It's just, I don't know. The game just all around is really weird to me. I, I don't know. But anyways, let's uh, write our third poem here. Uh... Color its own chocolate. Let's go with some more uh, interesting stuff. Um, I don't even know, dude. Okay, we'll go with that. Oh man, I'm the last one here again. I don't know why I just started doing that weird accent. Don't worry, I just walked in it. Into, uh, were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're willing to help out for the festival too. Ah, I can't wait for the festival. It's uh, it's gonna be great. Yeah, weren't you complaining about it yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival, but it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit like Siori all of a sudden. Monica, do you do they usually have fried squid? Squid. That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people. Yeah, I didn't say that. I, I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you you of all people? Because she looks like she has like fangs or something, dude. It's right in your name. Mon Ika. <laughs> Monica. <laughs> That's not how you say it at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Uh, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? Fine, fine. Okay, this music is like really loud for me for some reason. It probably won't be on video, but it is for me. And my game is like lagging for some reason. No idea why. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or uh, excuse me, I kind of clicked too fast. Where is Sorry anyway? Oh, there you are. Sorry is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. I'll walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Hey? You're spacing out again. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry. Don't mind me. You can talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything alright? Uh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sayori shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everybody. Everyone? Well, alright. If you say so. I worriedly glance at Sayori before turning back toward everyone else. But the conversation has already uh, dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Well, Amber, what's up? 
Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? And what do you mean? Maybe I'm already reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica appears across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there's something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Malaybra. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really like this. She's always talking to me about things that bothered her. But this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask you if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know. Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Hey, are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. I probably shouldn't say too much. She already talks about you more than any, anything else, you know. Oh, really? Huh? She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sayori is always like, it's always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now that it, it, it always has been. <laughs> You're so funny. Have you thought that maybe you've seen, you've always seen her as so cheerful because that just. Because that's just how she is when she's around you. <sighs> I said too much. I'm sorry. What do I know anyways? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. I know she said to forget it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Siori is sitting. I watch her kneel down to Siori and gently talk to her. But she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Siori told me not to worry about her and have and to have fun with everyone else, but that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh on me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary, but there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Suddenly, I know Siri peering at me over her book, but she looks away just as quickly with a flustered look on her face. I realize that she won't get anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord, so I have no choice but to approach her myself. But now it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand up from my desk and sit in one next to her own. Uh, I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Relax, you didn't even do anything. But I could tell that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Well, alone with my thoughts. How were you even able to t tell that I was thinking like that? Well, it's something that I do a lot. So it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. Not that I was staring or anything. I, I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't, don't apologize. Your troubles are only the concern of those who who willingly share in that concern. Of course, there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping to themselves. But if you prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. It's really not that big of a deal. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayori. Sayori? Yeah, she seems a little off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if some something happened to her. Oh? That's quite romantic. Eh? So sorry. I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that. I just didn't want you to misunderstand. Sayori and I have just been friends for a long time. That's all. Ah, I see. Then perhaps it is unusual for her to be dismissive about you and her feelings. Or maybe it's just reading into it a little too much. The world is full of meaning, often hidden deep uh, beneath plain sight. And there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. Uh, so, you think that there might be something behind it after all? Hmm. I think that uh, Sayori is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what may be going on inside her head, and she may not always know what she wants. I noticed her strange behavior today too, and I also feel some concern for her. But in your case, it looked like she was fully occupying your, your thoughts, wasn't she? I guess that was the case, Sayori. She really means a lot to you, doesn't she? 
Uh, I, I guess. But you don't need to put it that way. Oh, we're just good friends, that's all. Yuri suddenly looks deeply into your eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Sometimes. A person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. She's kind of creepy, to be honest. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't aware were in you. That That is, that's it. That is, I think that. She would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy. I'll be honest. So I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. Uh-huh. That's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. Anyways, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well, as long as you're okay with it. Yeah. I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyways. Okay. Okay, everyone. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems. I do the same. I make eye, eye contact with Monica and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with uh, Sayori. This one's uh, alright. Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's anyways. I see what you're going for, but it's not really my style. I mean, that's fine. I'm mostly just glad you're trying a little bit. It's gross. It's, it's not like I care. It's just that one of us in this club has to make sure you're not slacking off. Well, what if you ended up just scaring me away? That's, um, it's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. Elbows connects with my stomach. Oh, maybe I won't mind scaring you away after all. I was just joking. Oh, I know. Don't worry. I was too. <laughs> How the hell do you call that a joke? That seriously hurt. Well, maybe it was funny to her. I guess that's kind of the point. Okay, let's read I'll be your beach. Interesting. Your mind is so full of troubles and fear. Fears that diminished your wonder over the years. But today I have a special place. A beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight. A sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap. In a way, uh, thought had left you long ago. Let's bury your head thoughts. Let's bury your heavy thoughts. My God, in a pile of sand, bathe in sunbeams, and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea, and let me see you shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail. Set you free in my windy sail, and remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you dream daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. But if you left, let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. Does I see, uh... I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. <laughs> yeah, it's about time. Besides, the beach is awesome. Kind of hard to write anything negative about the beach. It's only because of what happened yesterday. I mean, after Yuri and I realized we kind of wrote about the same thing. She wanted to pick a topic and have us both write about it or whatever. <laughs> well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyways. Yeah, yours was pretty metaphorical too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. No, I don't say problem. At the very least, it was good practice. No. Being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people. Alright, no pressure. I'm Monica take the bomb, bomb I'm holding in my hands 
pretty good. Makes me think of Sayori, like the other one you that you wrote. You two are like dynamic duo. <laughs> That's kind of exaggerating it. Yeah, probably. But you do spend a lot of time with her even in this club, don't you? Then again, I don't blame you for being a little shy. I'm not shy. I'm just... I'm just teasing. Of course, Monica is always teasing, to be honest. I know it takes a little bit of time to make friends with everyone. But Yuri and Nat uh, Natsuki are super interesting people, so don't be afraid to give them their share of time. And you could talk to me every now and then, too. I'm not, like, unapproachable or anything, am I? Alright, let's, let's, let's read her poem. Yeah, she likes to use uh, the page a lot. The lady who knows everything. Uh, an old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. The lady knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather, lost adrift the sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day, I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains, the last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky. Until one day, the, the wind ceases to blow. I fall, and I fall and fall and fall even more, gentle as a feather, a dry quill expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady uh, who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning. There is no purpose. And we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat. And I pick up a gust of wind. Some of these poems actually aren't even that bad, dude. You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are sort of, sort of things that give light, give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but I, it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. It seems like everyone in this club prefers writing about things. That are more sad than happy <laughs> are you surprised i mean if everything was okay we wouldn't really have anything to write about would we humans are too are, aren't two dimensional creatures i think you'd know that better than anyone you mean one dimensional uh yeah that anyway here's monica's writing tip of the day are you are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it, it's not that good it can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into but if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own liter little literature tr club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Has my advice been helpful to you? Definitely. I'm glad. Sharing a writing like this, it's a lot more fun and rewarding than I anticipated. I need to remember to thank Monica. I think we all felt a little awkward at first, but now it seems like everyone is enjoying enjoying sharing their writing and seeing what others think. I guess I can't really disagree. I was afraid this whole thing would be a chore, but it's a great way to spend some time with all the girls in the club. But it's been fun getting to know everyone in their writing, and I guess doing some writing myself. Have I learned anything about myself? Uh, in the end, it doesn't matter if you're a good writer or a bad writer, and even my opinions are just opinions, you know. As always, I believe what's more, what's most important is explore, exploring and discovering yourself. That's comforting. Kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way. Well, you're always sophisticated with your writing and have the most ad advice to share. Yuri thinks for a good minute. That must be terrible. Hmm? For me to have 
uh, becomes someone whose opinion is fearsome. How unlikable, how unlike me, Yuri. That's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. I just meant that I respect your opinion. Yeah, she always overthinks things. I don't like. I I'm not. She's not my favorite. She's not my favorite, and she kind of creeps me out a little bit. You know, like nobody likes being disliked, but it's something you have to live with. I didn't mean to bring it up. Let's move on. All right. You want to share your poem now? Yeah, she's definitely probably my the my least favorite out of the three out of the four girls. If I'm being honest. Beach. Writing about beach? Oh, yeah, because they both chose to write about beaches. Dude, I can barely read her handwriting half the time. A marvel millions of years in the making uh, where the womb of Earth uh, chaotically meets the surface under a clean blue sky and expose and expose a bliss but beneath gray rolling clouds and endless engine the easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found uh one can only build a sand castle where the sand is wet but when but where the sand is wet the tide comes will it gently lick uh at your foundations until you give in or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same. Yet we still build sand castles. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles, where my toes uh, squish into the sand. The salty air is uh, therapeutic. Uh, the breeze is gentle yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary uh, li life, tempted by the foamy tendrils. Turn back, and I abandon my peace to it exposed in the shore uh drift forward and i return to earth forever more yeah because she wants to make everything metaphorical she, she did she didn't say anything weird did she she just wanted us to write about the same topic again i suppose uh to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes anyways it was her idea knowing her it's no surprise that she'd want to do something like that uh she probably just wants to show off fair enough all right sayori let's go This is your best one so far. It's really, really nice, my Lambert. Mm, she didn't sound very sure. Mm -hmm. uh, Sayori, you've been a little quiet today. Is everything all right? Just a little tired, huh? You want a nap or something? I only want to see smiles on your face. Why is that? I guess you're the one who likes this one the most. You don't want to get closer with everyone else? Wait. Of course I do, but that doesn't mean I need to try so hard to impress them. I still understand you, you the most, Sayori. I know you have to sometimes put up with me. And I have to sometimes put up with you. But we have a wavelength or something. And this is how the poem came out. Sometimes it feels like you're the only exciting thing in my life. So sometimes it's just easier to write when thinking about you. Sayori? N no. I don't deserve this. You're too nice to me. Why are you doing this? Sayori has trouble keeping her voice steady all of a sudden. If you had fun with everyone else instead, this would be so much easier. Sayori? I glance around the room to make sure nobody has noticed this. Sayori? What is going on? I've probably never said this before, but I don't understand what you're feeling right now. Tell me what will cheer you up. Sayori shakes her head. She sniffles and keeps shaking her head. Finally, she gathers herself and puts on a smile. I feel like I'm narrating this. It's nothing, Malambert. <laughs> it's just a little rain cloud. I'm sorry you had to see that. <laughs> I promise it won't happen again. Just smiles from everyone, all right? That's all that matters. Go play with everyone else. I'm going to go home a little bit early today. Sayori. 
Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayori uh, cheerfully walks out of the classroom humming to herself. Okay. Um, that was weird. Let me start figuring out. Hold on a second. Is it just me or did you say something strange just now? Something did sound a bit unusual. You deviated from the your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Well, I mean, what does that mean? Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Seems you're right. What the heck did she run up to anyways? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. She wasn't actually feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously. Of all the times to not go home with her, you picked the time she's not feeling well. So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, first of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. Like, geez, we just walk home like every day together. It's not weird. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I don't want to force it. That curious expression coming from Yuri of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything's fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes, but we might need a lot of them in different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Uh, Sayori will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri, Yuri can... Uh, um... Guys, can you can you help me uh, help me come up with something for Yuri? I'm useless. N no, that's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. N now Natsuki pouting too. Jeez, even I can't. I can tell now. I guess I never gave Say Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. That may be the case, but if. I can't always be a leader on your on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decorate decorations to help set the atmosphere. About that, I I love atmosphere. Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is always racing, I see. Oh yeah, what am I gonna do? The one who's truly useless. <laughs> It always helped me out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. <clears throat> okay, so wait. So cupcake duty, decoration duty, or what is Monica doing? Uh, that's is Monica suggesting to spend a weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could, could give to you. It's not like Monica's gonna give me a choice and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Uh They're just fighting. How hard can it make make free decoration? It sounds more like you're just making excuses for my routine. Well, what are you saying? He hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know. So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said... I I'm surprised as well. So sorry. <laughs> I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Lambert, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. Hmm. Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. Hmm. 
Here's the thing. I don't think I want to go with Yuri. She kind of creeps me out, to be honest. And she's like my least favorite. I do like Natsuki. I like her bowl. I like her bluntness. Monica's right. I haven't really got any time with her in particular. But I feel like if Sayori's feeling bad, then I could just spend my time with her instead. Make her feel better. I know Sayori. I mean, if it's going to be anyone, then I prefer helping Say Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors, and but Monica said Monica said that Sayori was helping her. Jeez, did you really hate us that much? N no, sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Well, bacon sounds like it could be fun, and you guys made it sound like a. Like a lot of work, so it could probably use two people. Ugh, never mind, okay. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. I guess you could say I'm interested in to see how it'll turn out. She's still sulking. Uh, Natsuki starts pouting too. It's not, I mean, it's not that big of a deal or anything. Well, it might not be just that. I think that Yuri might just be feeling a little underappreciated in general, having to come up with something for her to do and then nobody offering to help. That doesn't mean... Uh, Natsuki glances back and forth between everyone with a worried expression. Look... Natsuki goes over and puts her hand down on Yuri's shoulder. Yuri, you really are the most talented one here. Alright, alright. I think we've heard this enough. You need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little more credit. Natsuki releases her hand and turns around to face the other direction. You didn't really mean that, did you? Um, no. Not really. But Yuri isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken back aback by Natsuki's words. Yeah, you can tell that she tried at least. And all of us are going to make it a really great event. Obviously everyone doing their best, but with that, there's nothing more for today, so I guess it's time for us to head out. Okay, but I'm staying here a bit longer. I barely got to do any reading today, so fair enough. There's nothing wrong with that. Everyone packs up their things. Okay, so uh, obviously the first episode, I like read everything, but I think I'm going to be like just reading some of it in my head just so it goes by a little bit faster because this game is a lot longer than I expected it to be, and there's a lot of dialogue. And if I said everything in this game, oh man, it would take way too long. Um, where are you going? Mm -hmm. We still need to figure out our plans for this weekend. You literally wouldn't would have got gotten home and realized that you didn't even have a way to contact me. True. <laughs> I have no idea how that slipped my mind. Geez, good thing I stopped you. I'm giving you my number, okay? You'd better not make it weird or anything. Why would I do that? Hmm. I'm coming over Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait, you're coming to my house? Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean, I just figured that since I'm the one helping you, I would be going to your house. Yeah, right. Like, I could have a guy over my over my house. <laughs> my dad would kill me. <laughs> really? It's kind of strict if you ask me. How do you think I feel? Did you say you were just going to give me the dirty work? I was just saying that. It's not like I could act like in front of everyone. That I was looking forward to this. Wait, really? Well, kind of. Just because I never got to bake with someone else before. That's all it is, so. Alright, I get it. Sorry for overreacting. Anyway, I'll be heading out now. See you on Sunday. Never mind. She totally wanted to say something. 
I can't believe this. Natsuki is going to be coming to my house on Sunday, even though I would have preferred to do this with Sayori. My anxiety still shoots through the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. But who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. And I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous that Sayori finds out about this? It's not like we feel that way about each other. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. But yeah, like I said, there's just a lot of dialogue in this game. So I'm kind of going to be skipping a little bit. She's been texting you a lot? We sent each other one after exchanging numbers to double check, but it turned into a conversation. She's almost a different personality on the phone, using tons of emojis and cute language. She also really likes complaining about things, but I saw, kind of saw that coming. I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the club earlier the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? That's what I'm saying, dude. That's why I wanted to go check on her, dude. She seemed kind of depressed. I decided to visit Sayori before Natsuki comes over. Yeah, you're damn right I should. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a, it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. Yeah, go in the dang house. The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. She's already strange. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. Sayori? Hi. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You, you haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is, a me is as messy as it's always been. I mean, Loki doesn't even look that messy. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall, decora wall decorations that she's had for years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. It's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to be with Natsuki today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Sayori had already left by the time we decided the last meeting, Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival, pre festival preparations, right? True. Aren't you going to help Monica today? Of course, but I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Natsuki then. Just more silence between us. Sayori stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Sayori smiles, shaking her head. Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Roller's girl seriously depressed. I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you doing? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Uh, <laughs> Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap. <laughs> but you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Malamber? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is... Yeah, I knew it. I mean, it was... I knew it. I've had really bad depression my whole life. I, I saw this coming.
Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by by having them spend spend it on me? That's what I feel like, and that's why I just always that's why I just want to make everyone happy, without anyone worrying about me. It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. Seeing you make friends to get closer with everyone in the club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I de decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. I made you join the club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time I pull her into a tight embrace. Uh -huh. Oh my god, this is so adorable, first of all. Sire isn't hugging me back. Oof! Mission failed. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But... Your hugs are so warm, and that's really scary, too. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Uh, um, uh, <laughs> that's what I want. I think that would be nice, then. Sayori wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. But. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. It's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow. 
Oh man, that that's some real stuff, man. I'll say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Natsuki is about to come over, too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we've definitely going to, when we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. Sup. She's like, sup. <laughs> really? Seeing her in such cute clothes makes the uniform seem totally unfitting in comparison. Jeez, don't make it feel so awkward already. It's going to be a long afternoon, so don't be weird just because you're not used to seeing me outside of school. Anyways, I'm coming in. I see you brought a lot of stuff. Large bag that's probably full of baking supplies. Well, I didn't want to come all this way to find out that your kitchen isn't equipped for the job. You bought everything I asked you to, right? Yeah, I did. Yesterday, Natsuki asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients if I didn't already have them at home. You're not even going to offer to take this heavy bag from me? <laughs> Apparently not. Where's your hospitality? Come on. Since when did I need to be a gentleman? Carried that all the way here. Are you impressed? I see now. Yeah, I am impressed, alright? It seems like I always underestimate you. It's because I'm so small, isn't it? You jerk. Hits a fist into my chest. Hey, hey, your size has nothing to do with it. Do you really hate being small that much? Um... It's not like I hate it. I mean, sometimes I like proving people wrong when they only think I'm worth my size. It's fun when I get to be as small and also better than other people. <laughs> Jeez, never mind. What do you make me say? Don't think you can make me talk about weird things just because we're not at school. Are we getting started or what? There's a lot of stuff I gotta teach you. You're more fun when you're just when you just speak your mind like that. Hey, now you are treating me like a kid. I was just trying to be a little nicer to you, you know? And just because I don't have a mature and sexy figure like Yuri doesn't mean you should treat me like... <laughs> Let's see, he catches her words and her face turns red. Forget it. I didn't say anything. I should apologize. Eh, I appreciate that you were trying to be nicer. I should have been a little more considerate too. But also, if that's what you're thinking, then you should know that there are tons of guys who are in, into body types like yours. Uh, how would you know that anyways? Just trust me on this one. Gross. Hey. Is that to me? Who else? Man. <laughs> Let's just get started already. You get all the sour... All, you get all sour when a girl calls you gross. I finally found your weakness. That's, that's not what I want to hear. Please spare me. Before long, the whole kitchen is a mess. Spoons, dirty bowls, flowers, spilled fluid, and plastic bags are strewn about every countertop. The mixer isn't big enough to make all the batter at once, so we've had to do it several times. Meanwhile, I was babysitting all the movements to make sure I don't mess up. Yeah. Cute idea. Come on. You're not putting any heart into this at all. Can't you at least try to have fun? I am having fun. I'm not really sure what Natsuki is trying to get out of me. Meanwhile, I see her separate separate the batter into smaller bowls and put a few drops of food coloring in, in each other. Ah, uh, that does look pretty cool. See? It's not like baking is just about following instructions. The presentation is where you get to be creative and have the most fun. It's a million times more worth it in the end if you if just looking at it makes everyone's eyes light up. Like the ones you made on the on my first day, huh? 
Oh yeah, she has a cat on her uh, shirt as well. Here she's she likes cats. <laughs> Maybe I will use the food coloring then. Sounds like you're starting to understand. Just make sure you completely finish mixing the icing before you mess with the food coloring. Yeah, it's getting there. I'll be here all night if you do it like that. You really need to beat the crap out of it. Oh wow, you don't want your gross fingers in my icing. Your icing, eh? Are you forgetting who did all the work? Don't make me beat the crap out of you next. I'd like to see you try. I push harder just enough for my finger to reach the icing. I triumphantly scoop some with my finger just as Natsuki tugs with all her might. Ah, <laughs> the force of Natsuki pulling me causes me to stumble, making her stumble in turn. Gross. He got it in my face. Whose fault is that? There's a big glob of icing on Natsuki's cheek. Mm. You know what? Take this. Instead, wipes it off with her finger before shoving her finger toward my face. You wish. I'm faster. I grab her wrist with my hand before it reaches my face. Natsuki tries to use her other hand to fight back, but I grab that one as well. <laughs> Stop. Not until you apologize for calling me gross. Fine, fine. I'm sorry for calling it gross. You know, I don't mean it. It's just fun seeing you react to it. You do that to me all the time, you know. Saying dumb things just to get a reaction out of me. You really shouldn't tease girls like that. <laughs> Is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. I take Natsuki's fingers and put it in my mouth, licking off the icing. Ugh. <laughs> you did what? I'm sorry. You did what? Uh, did, did you seriously just... Natsuki is so surprised that she can't even figure out how to get mad at me. Her face is entirely red. Malaber, you really shouldn't do that kind of thing to girls unless you really like them. Y you know that, right? What kind of question is she asking me just like that? How did the mood turn this to this so quickly? I, Natsuki gazes at me in silence. I notice her, swall uh, her shallow breaths. Why am I starting to feel dizzy, yeah? I don't know where the fire alarm starts going off. That's like he rushes over to the oven. Is something burning? I thought you didn't put the cat cupcakes in yet. Cough. No wonder. You left a dirty tray in here, dummy. How could you make a mistake like that? You should have checked before turning the oven on. Don't blame me for your mistake. Jeez. That's like he uses an oven mitt to grab the blackened tray out of the oven. She sets it on top of the oven, uh, on the stove. In another moment, the fire alarm stops. Anyways, I'm putting them in the oven now. Yeah. The tension from the moment before still lingers over our heads, but the moment has already been lost. I watch as Natsuki slides the cupcake tray into the oven, then I reluctantly pick up the wisp and continue with the icing like nothing ever happened. So it seems like they're kind of pushing us in a direction where we're spending a lot of time with every single girl, and to me this just seems like a, like a weird anime dating simulator, almost, with a bunch of literature thrown in there. I mean, it's not boring by any means. I just, this is not my type of game, I'll be honest. And it's a lot of dialogue, like a lot. There's not, not really any gameplay. It's basically a graphic novel, but a video game. Which is kind of interesting. I like it, but it's like, at the same time, for a video, it's not incredibly the best thing to play. one can even make flowers they probably won't be using it in this time though i pick up one of the nozzles that is much thinner tip than the others that one's really thin so you can use it if it to make stripes or other patterns but you can also use it to write stuff on on cake
actually a really cute idea. Maybe I'm getting it from you. Well, what's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute. Come on. We're not at school. Nobody's judging. You can't dress and act like this and not expect me to think you're cute. Well, same with you. Hmm? Did you say something? No, no, nothing. Let's just do the icing. Without giving me a chance to think about it, Netsuki quickly moves on. She shows me how to apply the icing and then we get to work. Huh. Okay, so... When we're near, when we're finally finished, that's when he pulls them all side by side to admire our work. So it seems like the build-up is obviously to the festival. And something's going to go down in the festival. I feel like that's... I don't know. Like, could this be a normal festival or something weird's going to go down? Look at how pretty they are together. Yeah, they are, aren't they? I don't see any harm in that. My dad's making dinner tonight, so I really need to save my appetite. Sayara is the exact opposite in that regard. If she was here, we'd probably be downtown cupcakes already. And she would still eat dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much as, as I can. Well, anyway. I was hoping we would have time for manga, but I need to be home for dinner. As usual, Natsaki places the blame on me. I wish she'd listen to me the way she listens to you. <laughs> yeah. I again think back to the conversation I had with Sayori earlier today. I felt so helpless. Sayori always, always does listen to me, but at that point, it felt like she couldn't listen to me at all. Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for all the help and everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki. Huh? What you said before about not always having this chance. It doesn't have to be that way at all. I had fun today. You showed me how, to, how fun baking could be like you wanted. But aside from that, you can come over anytime, okay? I think that if, if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga or go out somewhere. um, Do you really read that? Let's see if he look, looks at me tensely like she's trying to hide her expression. Yeah. I want to spend more time with you. I thought you only cared about getting this done. I'm sorry. I had to leave so early. I really didn't want to. I would really stay here longer if I could. I feel the same way as you. So Nucky suddenly gets closer to me. That's creepy. And the music stopped. The music stopping actually is even more creepy. Wait, Nasuki. Standing inches from me, Natsuki looks up at me. I feel her fingers gently clutch at the sides of my shirt as if holding on to me. Her rose-colored cheeks and matching eyes fill my vision, along with her slightly parted lips. <laughs> what is happening? My head starts to go dizzy as I feel her soft breath ag breaths against me. I felt it. For a while now. <laughs> Bro... Suddenly jumps back. Say Sayori. Uh -huh. Ah. Ha hi, Lambert. S Sayori. Just now we weren't. It's okay. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh -huh. Well, you, you should have come a little earlier. I'm already on my way out, so. no, oh, really? That's too bad. Yeah, well, I'll still see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't eat any cupcakes before then. Then anyway, later. Clearly fl flustered, Natsuki hurries off and sorry waves goodbye. You ruined the moment, BFF. You ruined the moment. Sorry. I thought you didn't want to come over today. <laughs> well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was really mean to me. So I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? Y you know, how much fun you were having with Natsuki. And how close to you got to her. It makes me really happy that you've made such good friends. 
That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sayor Sayori's face. But that's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Malambu? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sayori, don't say that. It's true, Malambu. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? S Sayori, what I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Yeah, me? I ain't gonna let this continue. Come on, girl. Caring about you like this isn't the bur isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I would trade for any wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes a lot in an entire lifetime, I'm gonna be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But, but, Sayori looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared. I'm really scared. What are you scared of? I'm scared that, that I might like you more than you like me. Sayori? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. And, and that's enough. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in, in my own. Do you remember how I, I said I always known... I, I always know that what's best for you. Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now, and that's what I'm going to give you. <laughs> what the heck? I don't know what to choose. Truthfully, I kind of like Nat Natsuki more. Mm. You'll always be my dearest friend. That's the truth. Well, what's the better way to go? Crap. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't really spent that much time with that Suki. Son of a gun. I love you. Those are my true feelings. So there's no way you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner. But spending time with everyone at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you every day helped me realize that you were truly the most important person to me. That's why I'll accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day, with you by my side, then I know we'll both be happy. There we go. We finally get the hug. Suddenly, Sayori wraps her arms tightly around me. That's the hug we were looking for in her room. Is this really okay? I hold Sayori in my arms and pull her closer. You'll never have to let, to let go of me again. I love you, Malamber. I want to be with you forever. Me too. I feel Sayori's grip around me weaken a little bit. What is this? Sayori? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now, why won't the rain clouds go away? They're not going away at all, Malamber. It's okay, Sayori. It might take some time for things to get better, but now, no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. Okay. I trust you. Sayori and I slowly release each other. So, I guess that makes the festival tomorrow a first date, huh? <laughs> what are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know? I, I want everything to be the same as it always has been, even if we really are a couple. I don't know if I could handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. 
Am I understand? We'll go at whatever pace suits you best. Sayori gazes at me once again, smiling sadly. Even if I get even if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? Hmm? I don't really understand what Sayori means by that. Are you saying that this is making you feel sad? I I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. It felt like a bunch of thorns when you told me you love me. But that's why I want to trust you. I know that's best. what's best for me. I do. That's my promise. I say that, but in reality, I've never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sayori. I know that I love her and she loves me, but I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can confront, con comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. Is that what Sayori meant by not wanting anything to change? I don't know. But I know that I'll give it everything I've got. Sayori is the most important person to me. And I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. Okay. Wow. Um, man. This game. I'm like, I can't tell if I like it or I don't, to be honest. There's some parts that are better than others. And there's definitely characters that are better than others. And you can tell it's really going into some, like, like, um, some, like, real topics. But, uh, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. This is, once again, another really long episode of, Do of Doki Doki. So, it's, uh, it's, um, yeah. I mean, that's pr pretty much gonna do it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys all in the next episode of Doki Doki. And uh, peace out. Bye-bye.